game together. Are you ready? We're going to play Simon Says. Okay, are you ready? Simon Says do this. 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 Simon Says do that. Did I catch you? <laughs> Guys, let's stand and praise the Lord together. Today's lesson is about Jacob. Joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got Peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love for my Savior, I've got love for my Savior, I've got love for my Savior in my soul. I've got love for my Savior, I've got love for my Savior, I've got love for my Savior in my soul. I've got joy like a Do you know the word anxiety? It is when the stress and worry of everyday life makes you feel like you need to breathe faster and your chest feels so tight. You just don't feel very well. Things you can usually do then feels too big and too much. I felt this way, anxious. My mind was full of things I worried and wondered about. I have made wrong decisions in my life, but I'm still God's child. He promised he would be good to me. That's how God is, even when you don't deserve it. He is still loving and good. That's how he was for me. There were times when it was hard for me to remember and believe it though. There was one such time I was scared. I was unsure of what would happen. That night I stayed behind alone. It felt like my heart was being squashed from the stress and tension I was feeling. Then a man came, well, I thought it was a man. It was actually God. Can you believe God came to meet me where I am? And in such an interesting way, I had questions and wondered about things. I wrestled with God. We wrestled all night. I realized that I am not that strong alone. That morning, the man, God, left again. It was a tough night, but I, but I saw and experienced God. I had the chance to be honest and straight with God, and I then knew again that He was always with me. He even changed my name from Jacob to Israel. Quite special, right? I called the place Peniel, where I saw God. I will never forget seeing God. It changed my life. Maybe you have felt the way I did. Read my story in Genesis 32. Genesis 32, verse 24 to 30. So Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him till daybreak. When the man saw that he could not overpower him, he touched the socket of Jacob's hip so that his hip was wrenched as he wrestled with the man. Then the man said, Let me go, for it's daybreak. But Jacob replied, I will not let you go until you, unless you bless me. The man asked him, What is your name? Jacob, he answered. Then the man said, Your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with humans and have overcome. Jacob said, Please tell me your name. 
but he replied, Why do you ask my name? Then he blessed him there. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, It is because I saw God face to face, and yet my life was spared. Okay, so before we continue, who is the Bible character we are talking about today? Shout it out! Yes, well done, Jacob. What was his name changed to? Shout it out again! Yes, well done, Israel. Last question. What did he call the place God wrestled with him? Yes, Peniel. Now, let's talk about what Jacob's story means to us. Even the biggest Bible heroes had down moments. They also felt stressed and anxious at times. Have you ever just not felt good in your heart and your head? Have things felt too big or too difficult? Have you ever wished you just knew what would happen or what to do? When Jacob felt like that, God met him. They wrestled the whole night. Maybe it wasn't just physical wrestling, but also Jacob telling God about his anxiety and worries and fears and everything that felt too much for him. It is actually unbelievable and wonderful. You can also ask God, God, I want to feel close to you. Meet me, please. I want to talk. God will meet you wherever you are. He will make time and space where you can be honest and tell him about what's going on and what is bothering you. You are allowed to ask questions. You are allowed to be angry. You are allowed to be scared. You are allowed to be confused. God will work through things with you and remind you that he is with you and will never leave you. He will help you to remember that he won't leave you and that he really understands. Do you want to write a letter to Jesus? You can pause the video and go sit somewhere in the garden or in your room. Write to him how you feel and tell him what is going on in your life. Share your heart with him. Okay friends, let's pray together. Dear Lord, thank you for everything you do for us. Thank you that we know we can turn to you with all of our questions and worries. Um, be with us today and the whole week. Amen. Bye, guys.